In this video, we will cover the basics of the autoscan function of VCDS. In the next few minutes, you will learn how to do the following. Correctly identify the vehicle you are working on, performing the autoscan function, emailing autoscan results or posting them on a web form, save the results on your computer or print them out, and why and when you should run autoscan. We need to identify what type of vehicle you are working on based on its chassis code. This is done by simply looking at the 7th and 8th digits of the VIN number. In this example, the 7th and 8th digits of the VIN number are 1J. Thus, this is a 1J chassis code. Plug the interface up to the vehicle's data port. The LED light should light up green. Turn the ignition on. The engine can be running, but isn't required. The Auto Scan button is found on the first screen of VCDS. After you click on the Auto Scan button, you will need to select from the drop menu in the upper left corner the chassis type of the vehicle you are working on. As noted in our example, we are working on a 1J chassis type. The right side window is now populated with all the different control modules that can be found on the 1J chassis in the world market. Clicking on the Start button starts the Auto Scan. VCDS will now go into each control module one at a time and retrieve data. This will take just a few minutes on most vehicles. Now that the auto scan is complete, let's look at what kind of information has been gathered. Here at the bottom of the list is my radio and from this I have the following information. Part number, soft coding information, firmware version, and stored fault codes. You will find this kind of information for each control module scan. Let's scroll to the top of the list and look at the engine control module. Again we find part number, soft coding information, firmware version, and stored fault codes. Once the auto scan is complete, you can share it with others by email or posting the results on a web form. This is done by using the copy and paste function that is part of the Windows operating system. To copy the auto scan, just click on the copy button. Now the entire auto scan is copied onto the Windows clipboard. To paste the auto scan results in an email or web form, open up your email client or web browser. In the area that you would normally type your message, right click the mouse and a menu will appear. Select the paste option and Windows will then automatically paste the auto scan into your email or web form post. If you're able to print from your computer, then VCDS can send the auto scan results to your printer. Just click the print button. A dialog window opens that lets you fill in some additional information about the vehicle. If possible, the auto scan function will automatically retrieve the VIN and odometer information and fill those out for you. There are also fields that can be filled out for the license plate or repair order number if needed. Click the OK button and the printer dialog window appears. Select your printer like you normally would and click the OK button to send the auto scan to the printer. The auto scan can be saved to your hard drive as a simple text file. Click on the Save button. A dialog window opens up. Since the VIN and odometer information was automatically retrieved, it uses that information to name the text file. Typing in a license plate number or a repair order number will also be included in the text file naming. Once you do save the auto scan to your hard drive, a session log is started. View Print will open the text file in the Windows Notepad. The Show Location button will open the folder where the auto scan text file was saved on your hard drive. The Done Close button ends the log session. AutoScan is a very powerful tool at your fingertips. For enthusiasts who works on their own vehicle, this should be the first thing they do when they receive their interface. If one plans on modifying their vehicle's coding, it is a good idea to save a baseline reading. When asking for help on web forms, always post a full auto scan on your vehicle so others have as much information about the vehicle. Posting partial scans is not wise. For the professional automotive technician, an auto scan should be the first thing they do to any Volkswagen or Audi vehicle that comes in the door, even if it's there just for an oil change. This offers you a CYA by showing the state of the vehicle before any work is started, and of course gives you the opportunity to upsell more repairs. In addition to having this kind of information in the customer's file can be very useful in the future. By saving the auto scan, 
you will have a complete record of all the control module's part numbers and coding, which can be very handy if that car ever needs to have any control module replaced. The importance of the auto scan cannot be understated.